Hey folks, I will record this video to help you get on the Ink Lantern dashboard so that you can access the data, play around with it. I will also give you a short demo after this. So let's get started. So the first thing you will do is you will paste in your URL on your browser and you will land on this page. In this stage, you will click on start here and it will show you the login window. Here you can use the email that has been authorized by us and put it in here and create your own password. Or you can alternatively also log in with Google, which is my preferred option. So because I already did this, when I click on continue with Google, it will automatically land on the dashboard itself. So once you do this, you should be here. If you are having trouble with this, please let me know and we're happy to assist you with that. Hey folks, I also want to give you a short rundown of what you will see in the Ink Lantern dashboard. So first thing, you will see the brand tracker page. I'm going to go into depth each page quickly, but as a heads up, you will be able to analyze the brands globally, general, more bigger metrics in the brand tracker page. You can look at the components of the brands, which we call pillars in the pillar breakdown. You can analyze the language being used through the keyword analysis and the images in the image analysis page. And then you can also do an image analysis comparison between brands. In this first section, you will be able to modify the data by applying filters like a brand filter. You can also apply a platform filter like we have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And you can also look at the content by the different pillars, but let me not go there right now. For this example, I will keep all of the brands. We have all the F1 teams, F1 in general, F1 sponsor brands, and female and male athletes, as well as other interesting brands related to motorsport. The brand love, which is the first metric that you see here, is calculated on a daily basis. The biggest brand we have in here is ESPN. Then we have F1 and then all the others. You will be able to see this in a ranking by average uh, for a year. So the annual rank, this is the first one. You can also look at this weekly or on a specific date, date range that you're interested in. You would filter that up there. In general, the biggest brand is set F ASPN, then F1, Carol G, Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull, etc., etc., etc. Further down, you will see the DEI index. The DEI index is a similar metric to brand love, but looks only at content related to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Then you, look, you can have a brand breakdown where we're going to analyze the volume being generated by the brands in all the platforms that have been filtered up there. So the biggest brand in terms of volume is ESPN, which have generated 21,000 posts. Um, to the right, you will see the average engagement per post, biggest one being Carol G by far, then Lewis Hamilton, ESPN, etc. And then here at the bottom, you will see this wheel where you will see the share of engagement, right? Here you can also look at the platforms, seeing that Instagram is the biggest engaging platform then TikTok, then Facebook, and the smallest one, YouTube. And in terms of volume, Instagram and Facebook dominate. And here at the bottom, you will see all the top posts ordered by engagement score. The engagement score is a metric that looks at the engagement metrics by platform, like likes, shares, views, etc. But it also incorporates the sentiment of the comments. We use 100% of the comments and do sentiment analysis on all of them. So you can see the biggest... Uh, post is by Carol G. All right, if we go into pillars, these pillars that we have selected for this specific research are focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion, but not only. We have DEI, disability, experience, gender identity, innovation, inspiration, purpose, race and ethnicity, sexual identity, and sustainability. And for each pillar, we can see how much engagement in average we are, the brands are generating each month. Right, So this will give you the height of the bar. And this is also affected by your brand filter. So you could look at just one brand if you're interested in that. The brand profile shows you the brand. Here we have all the brands selected, but we would have to look at just one. So let's say F1. Just F1 generates the highest engagement in the pillar of experience. Nothing in disability. 
very, no, also nothing in sexual identity or sustainability, a little bit in race and ethnicity, but mainly in innovation, experience, inspiration, some DEI and purpose. And you could compare this against any other brand. So this is, for example, Amna al Kubiazi or Tatiana Calderon is this, right? So each brand has a different shape because they're focusing on different pillars. Here you would also see the top post by pillar if you select them up here. And at the bottom, you will see a composition. This is 100% of the content and it will show you how much engagement each one of the pillars is generating by month, right? Again, all of this is affected by the brand filter. I'm not going to go into keyword analysis because it's a heavy page. It has a lot of data and it takes a moment to, to load, but I will go into image comparison. Here we are looking at imagery and using computer vision, a form of AI, to analyze what's in the image and then tie that to engagement. So let's look at, for example, Ferrari. If we look at the Ferrari brand, it will show us to the left the most engaging features. Things like vertebrate, purple, emblem, organ, neck, shoulder, symmetry, black and white, food, jaw. These are the most engaging visual features for Ferrari. And if I'm interested in any of these, I can just click on this. I will click on black and white. And to the right, it will display all the images that, well, that were detected by the AI as containing black and white. So it would be something like this. The same thing we can do for any brand and then compare them one to one, which is interesting if we want to see what drives engagement for a specific uh, brand versus another. Let me show you this example with Bianca, where, um, interesting enough, the, the color orange is one of the highest engaging visual features for her. And if I click on orange, we will see here to the right that it's not only McLaren, but it's also the way she dresses. And then, of course, also components of the McLaren's, McLaren orange. So this is interesting because communication, of course, has a very important language aspect, but also visual is very important in social. And all of this ties to what we want to accomplish, with, which is help brands understand how working with female athletes can benefit not just the brand, from a com commercial perspective, but also the brand as a culture shaping entity. Well, I hope this helps. Again, we're always happy to chat with you. If you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out. I wish you have some fun with this. Thank you.